Hello and welcome. Apple is one of the few Western smartphone manufacturers that have significant market share in the Chinese smartphone market. China ranks among the top 5 markets where Apple generates significant revenue globally. Apple has been working for the past years with strategic suppliers from all over the world, of which suppliers from China is not an exception. But recently, Apple decided to hold its plans to source memory chip from one major Chinese chip supplier after the US government placed a sanction on the Chinese tech industry. Why has Apple decided to hold its cooperation with this Chinese tech firm? What is going to be the effect on this on iPhones sold in China and the world at large? This and many more we're going to be covering in today's video. Kindly subscribe, like and leave your comments so we know what you think as well. Apple's sales record in the Chinese smartphone market for the past two years has been very impressive as a result of Apple's effective marketing strategies and also for the fact that China's tech giant Huawei has been placed on the US blacklisted companies, preventing Huawei from having access to chips manufactured by semiconductor giants such as TSMC. This has made Huawei to lose its position in the global market as well as the Chinese smartphone market as one of the key smartphone manufacturers who could challenge Apple's position globally when it comes to the smartphone market. One wonders why most of Apple's supply chains are located in Asia and China rather than the US. Beyond the fact that Apple's products are quite expensive, Apple having its supply chain in China and Asia as a whole has contributed massively to Apple being able to beat down the manufacturing costs for Apple products drastically. According to the latest report, Apple has been in talk for the past few months with this Chinese chip manufacturer, Yanzi Memory Technologies (YMTC) to approve its flash memory chip to be used in iPhones made for the Chinese market. Now, one who asks what is too unique about YMTC? Now, YMTC is China's largest manufacturer of advanced memory chips. Its 120-yard memory chip, even though it is some few generations behind chips manufactured by tech giants such as Micron and Samsung, each products are about 20% cheaper than that of Samsung and Micron. Apple has no option than to put this certification on hold as a result of the US sanction. This sanction prohibits US companies from sharing their designs, technologies, documents and specifications to companies on the US sanction list without a license from the US. But per how things are looking, it is very unlikely for the US to grant licenses to YMTC even if they were to apply for licenses. But who knows? Now, Apple losing partnership with YMTC is a big blow for Apple. For reason being that for the past many years, Apple has been working on finding more cost-effective memory chips for each product. This is going to lead to an increase in Apple's manufacturing costs, for which Apple will have no option than to increase the cost of its iPhone sold globally. One major concern is the fact that Apple as a brand does not allow manufacturers access to its supply chain without first analyzing their products to be sure there is no vulnerability before it integrates them into its ecosystem. I believe Apple may have conducted its own internal audit and was very sure that there were no vulnerability. But by how things are looking, Apple has no option than to go ahead and put this transaction on hold. What do you think of this sanction? Do you think it's in the right direction? Or it's just an attempt to slow down China's pace as it tries to become self-reliant in the semiconductor field? Kindly leave your comments in the comment section and kindly don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for making time and have a good day.